Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Super excited today. I don't know what it is about color sorters, but I brought you another color sorter. And today it's my color sorter wheel or my color sorter carousel. If you want to see it, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. So today I have brought back the color shoot. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the description because I've left you the link for the building instructions for it. Super cool. I've been using it for so many projects. I'll leave you a link at the end of this video and in the description too for all the videos that I've used this color shoot for. It's super cool. Um, so today, here's a little twist. I'm gonna show you the color sorter wheel or carousel, and I'm gonna actually basically do this backwards. I'm gonna actually take it apart after I show it to you just so you can see how it was built. So you guys ready? Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, so there it is. There is the color sorter carousel or the color sorter wheel. There is the color shoot that you have seen in other videos. Again, check the links in the description or just wait till the end of this video. Very valuable um, mechanism here. Um, I actually extended it because it was only able to maybe hold five pieces. It actually holds nine because I extended it. So basically, here's how this is going to work. I load the pieces into the color chute. Here's the color sensor. And basically when it recognizes a color, it will spit the piece out. And depending on the color, the wheel will rotate so that the correct color goes into the correct cup. So that's why I call it the carousel or the wheel. It will actually rotate to make sure that the right piece goes into the cup. So it's just a I guess, um, extension of the rotating um, uh, color sorter that I did before, where now it just kind of goes into a circle. So it almost reminds me of those lazy Susans that they have, at, you know, on the dinner table, you know, instead of passing the milk, you just spin the wheel. So this case here, the color, like I said, will just go into the correct cut and the motor will just rotate to make sure that the right color is waiting for the um, piece to fall into. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, the color sorter carousel is ready. I'm just gonna go ahead and place these nine pieces into the chute and we'll watch the magic happen. Here we go. I put a little victory spin at the end when it gets all nine of the pieces in the cup. So at the end, don't think it's going haywire. It's just the victory dance. All right, here we go. Beautiful job, sorted all the colored pieces into the cups.
Okay, guys, this is the painful part, but this is actually, I've never done this before. So you're actually seeing something very groundbreaking. I'm actually going to take this apart um, so you can see how it was built. Okay. So if you've noticed, these cups were with me, um, you know, when I did the ping pong video. So these cups have been very valuable to me. But now you're just able to see what was going on behind the scenes of this wheel or carousel. So I just put a whole bunch of these gray picture frames together. So I went three out, three up, and then two out on the sides here. Okay. And then let me just pull this up carefully. Okay, so underneath that, I actually have three of these gray gears. What I needed to do is I needed to get elevation because of this part right here. I needed to get above it or else the wheel would not spin. It would hit this. So I made this little octopus um, design here so that it would fit onto these um, four black connectors. Okay, so let's take this off. It's kind of cool. I've never done some a backwards build like this. Okay, so these, let me go ahead and put this down so I can use both hands to do this. There we go. I think it wants to stay. Okay. So there's one gray gear. There's two gray gears. There's the third gray gear. And this was a nine. Okay, so now let's take a look below. Gee, Mr. Hino, you have a ton of these picture frames. Yep. Okay, so you can see how I just have this large motor attached to the picture frame from the bottom. If you can see down from below here, I just had to get this off the ground, so I used a bunch of those H pieces. So let me just give you a, an above look here. I'm actually not going to take this part apart. I'll just give you a really good view of it. And now let's go to the actual... I had to get the color shoot elevated here. So you can see, I've been doing this uh, for a while now. I'm just using those llama pieces. So the one, one side goes into the picture frame, the other side goes into the beam. Whoops, sorry about that. And I just had to give it support here. So if I just do this, basically, again, I'm going to leave you the, the color shoot instructions in the description. If I just take this part off, the color shoot will basically just fall off. There we go. So there's the color shoot, and I just basically installed it onto there. So let me go ahead and give you a another view. For those of you that would want to build this. And these H pieces, it doesn't matter where you put it, just to give it support and to get it off the ground. I don't even have any over here. Wow. And then I just wanted two of the, the 15s just so I can give it more support. I didn't want to just have one on each side. I wanted to actually have two on each side. Okay, guys, that was kind of cool. I did a reverse build. So I guess all you have to do now is watch the video in reverse to see how I put all that together. Okay, guys, so there you have it. The color sorter carousel or the color sorter wheel. I think I like the word wheel better, but 
anyway, it's just one of those things where you got to see me take it apart now and now I have all these pieces to build other things. Yes, you're right. I just don't know how I got so many of these picture frames, but it's cool because it allowed me to build this. Um, so hopefully you're able to, those of you that want to build that, were able to see how I did it from, you know, the pictures that I took or the video. Um, a lot of picture frames, so I hope you have enough. Um, but, you know, if not, you can figure out some other way um, to substitute some of these pieces, I think. And it was just really cool. It was just really cool to watch it rotate and have the pieces sort into it. I'm just, I think I'm... I've overloaded on color sorters for a while now, so I'll just move on to something else. Hopefully you enjoyed it, guys. Hopefully you're still staying safe, and hopefully you're still enjoying what's left of your summer. Okay, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mission Lego Robotics. I'm out. This is Mr. Hino coming to you from Legoland. I'm out. This is Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics coming from you from Disneyland. I'm out. Lego Robotics coming to you from the Brady House. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys? Take care.